Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 Star Revenge 1.5. I'm not going to stop saying the full title. Um, in the last episode we got two stars, count them, two stars. Uh, we got both the stars in... what is it? Oh, the, the, the mystery dungeon music is back. Uh, we got two of the stars in the wing cap area, and they were not easy, to say the least. Probably harder than the Babam Prince, I almost said King. But ooh, caught myself. So, uh, now that we've gotten the Red Cap Switch, we can come back and finish uh, Mission 6, I believe it is, of this. And I believe we want to go into the Warp Pipe because there will be a Red Cap that you can only get on the 6th mission after you get the Red Cap Switch. Which is, holy moly, some prerequisites, that's for sure, and looky there, and we're back down. Would you look at that? That is some game. I really, really do hope that the fourth world, or the third world, is like, open. Because like, when I think of Brodu, first thing I think of is Star Revenge 4, because that's the one I'm, that's my favorite Star Revenge. Someone has said that uh, Star Revenge 7 is really good. But Star Revenge 4 is open as heck. In fact, he inf like he designed it open world. I can't. I can't. Can I like kick up this? I can slightly, but I mean, with all the things in the way. Whatever. Um like Star Revenge 4 what he did is all of the courses connect to each other through an overworld. Like, say you go into World 1, well, there's, this probably isn't the case, but it's just an example. There's a exit of World 1 to go to World 2 and World 4. And if you go to World 2, there's an exit to World 3 and World 6, or say, just through different exits through the level. I can't do this. I can't do this. This is physically impossible. There we go. Good lord. And like, it was really cool. And every single level, of course, was built in a really open way. Because, of course, you can come into it from like, three different directions. So, there has to be ways to each of the stars that way. And some of them were built like, I know like, three or four of them are like a city. Some of them are like, open grasslands. And those were really cool. They were really open world. Whereas this game seems to be kind of the opposite. So, uh, where are these things? There's one. I cannot deal with this speed. This is ridiculous. Huh, there we go, that's one. Yeah, we, we started a little high. Oh my god. This is absolutely bonkers. Come on. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Is that a cannon? No, that's just a shadow from the box. Can I please? Nope! Can't even do that! It's f one foot in front of my face. Couldn't even get it. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Thank you, we got two. You know what terrifies me? We're gonna have to go back up that hill. Unless I head over that hill right now. And we're not gonna. Look at that. We have to go over the hill again. And, like, a couple of these stars are, like, overly obnoxious. Like, I'm seeing the trend here of him just laying eight red coins at, like, the eight corners of each world. And things like that. Like, for instance, the red cap switch had four red coins on each four, on the four corners of the area. And then the rest of the red coins are at the four corners of each of the tower, you know? There was that. And it's like... Unnecessarily... Fetchy. I guess. I don't know, it's odd. Like normally, eight red coins like, oh, they're all in the water. Like in a, you know, centralized area or something. I don't know. And even now, we're going through these red, these uh... These five points in the sky. Randomly tossed throughout the sky. You know, it's that. And I realize he was probably like, 
restricted quite a bit because this is a remake of, you know, the first game he made. So it is, of course, going to probably not have the quality that some of his other games have. But, uh, you know, there's still like, I don't know. I just don't know. You know, wing for the coin rings. We did it. That is worlds one and two done. Also, I like his little coin symbol there. It's different. So now he can finally go off and find World 3, which is somewhere. All right. Uh, sorry about the cut there, uh, but it's I, I got interrupted and it's a few days later. <clears throat> My voice is a little scratchy, but um. so today I went and got an ingrown cut out and that was as you can probably imagine a pretty fun experience you know i think i'm gonna go ahead and try and get these red coins of the overworld here because not only will that give us a better idea of the overworld but that'll you know get it out of the way and uh it's probably something we could have done since the beginning of the game but for some reason i was just like yeah we probably can't get it yet but like now i think about it what could there possibly be that would stop us other than it being like in a second overworld which would actually have like I'm pretty sure okay that's 15 stars I'm pretty sure if there were red coins in another overworld it'd be counted as a different star not sure what the purpose of these pillar things are for also these are interesting trees can I get up there doesn't seem like it. Well, you know what I could do? Uh... There we go. There is... Indeed a red coin. Okay. That makes two. Oh boy. This is not going to be the easiest thing I've ever done. So let's see. There's one on top of the mushroom. One on top of the sign down there. That's four. This is a really nice overworld, I just realized. Like, uh... I don't know, it's just designed well. There's five. Alright, let's go ahead and execute. Visualize, then execute. As a certain Russian would say. Where are we going here? There's like... There's no way up. Hold on, what? Is there one on this side? Uh, of course not. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how to get up there then. Because that's not... That's really high. That's nothing I can get to. Wait, what? I could have sworn it was like twice as high as that. I guess not. Huh. What do you know? Uh, let's go ahead and go down here and get this one and take a ton of damage. I wonder... Am I meant to get it from here? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Taking tons of damage. So that's... But it doesn't show you. Okay. Check the moat. So, uh, yeah, I got an ingrown cut out. And it was, by far, not the best experience I've ever had in my life. That's for sure. It's still numb right now, actually. So, uh, when it becomes un-un-numb. Well, I'm not excited for that moment, whenever it may come, that's for sure. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure if this, like, door would teleport us to another area, if, or if it's literally... Okay, it's right there. Is there a red coin in there? I can't see one, so I'm gonna assume we're good there. I hope so. There probably is one in the little waterfall area over here if I were to guess. Guess we'll check it out. But uh, yeah, so did that. Then I went to Whataburger and got myself a honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich because good golly, that's the best sandwich you'll ever have. I promise you. Guess if you live in the south it will be. Because, oh my god. I always like to think that I had some kind of hand in making that item come back because what Whataburger used to do is they would rotate out a special sandwich every week or so 
And so it was only certain weeks that you could get a honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. And other times it was like a bacon ranch sandwich or something like that. Which isn't nearly as good. Which isn't nearly as good as the honey barbecue chicken strip. Oh, that only takes seven. Okay, I think that's the third world. Uh, there is a flight cap in here behind a vanish cap thing which makes me worried oh red coin oh okay never mind well then we found all the red coins i was gonna say they wouldn't after all that put a red coin behind a uh behind a wing cap that you have to get a vanish cap to get to like come on i do wonder what that could be though so the last one as we saw earlier, was in the snow area. But uh, I want—I would like to think that I had a hand in getting the Whataburger thing to be a permanent menu item, because I would go there all the time when it wasn't on the menu and ask for it. Some places would do it, some places wouldn't. But I also like got my entire family loving it, that same sandwich, all my friends and everything. So, and Whataburger isn't a particularly big franchise. It's only in, like, Texas and some other southern states close to Texas. Oh, there it is. So, I like to think I played a part in getting that thing to be a permanent item. Why don't you elect the select sect? Okay. Sec- Secretary? That's not even sect. Um... So it did say a seven star door. I'm pretty sure that ought to be the third world since that's the lowest door we've seen. It's also the only other world we've seen other than what I'm assuming is going to be an ice world somewhere. Whoop. Yep, Folly Bay Town on the roofs. Oh, this is Koopa Bay from Mario Golf. Guess how I know that. It's because uh, I also those who watch up, oh, there's the star enemies. They're starting to appear. I think this is a Chukya. Yep. Uh, I also I use this song as my uh, pirate. What was it? Pirate Land song in my in the hack I was making, and I'm no longer making because holy moly. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, I thought this is where we started from. Uh, would appear not. And it also would appear that there's... Oh, that's a breakable box. What's in there? Red coin. Gotcha. So we'll get the 100 coins and red coins right now. Uh, I thought that was a cannon, but nope. Can I please? Okay, I don't think there's anything up there. And these walls are not being cooperative in terms of wall jumps, so we'll ignore that. This is a nice looking uh, area, though. There's a pipe. Oh yeah, also, a lot of people said that um, I don't have to worry about the Vanisher metal caps anytime soon because they're both in the second overworld, so that'll be a little ways away. They also said there's more than 117 stars, so uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't know the exact amount, which is weird. Usually I know the exact amount of stars going into a game, but uh, not here. I mean, that's because, what, the only other game that I've done is like a uh, last impact that I've done uh, like blind, completely blind because you know Chaos and Kaizo are off obviously both based on the original game. How did I make that jump? Based off the original game, so I knew they had 120. Last impact just released, so of course I looked up how many stars there was. And Star Road, I wasn't even blind, so this is really the first time I'm going in without knowing how many stars I have to get, which is probably something I should fix, considering I gotta know when I'm done, because uh, Mario 64 doesn't really have an indicator like, oh, you did it, you got them all. I guess some of them do. This is definitely a path to a star, and I don't think I should be bothering with it. So we'll go ahead and go back down. I thought he made that uh, solid. That tree. Guess not. Oh boy, I certainly remember making trees in Project... Or it wasn't Project 64, what was it? Uh, SketchUp. Oh, yep. That is... 
some kind of thing, that's for sure. Uh, do I have to swim all the way out to that? That's kind of crazy. We'll go for that last, then. Also, I, I think... What? There's nothing here. Except I can see through the ground. That, you know what, you think he might have actually done that on purpose. So you can see, like, where everything is. Huh. Interesting. Which also makes me think there might be, a, like, a super secret thing underground or something. Anything in this one? Yep. That's three red coins, 44 coins. Slowly making progress. It would appear that all of the red coins are going to be under the little boxes. That was a Chucky that looked normal, and it was red. So that's interesting. Go down. Nothing. Uh, once again, though... Guess I can use it to look around. There's that one over there, so that makes... four. I see one over there, five. Perhaps there's one in that box over there? Maybe. No. Okay. Another check, yeah. But yeah, he'll do it. He'll, like, uh, use that star model for fly guys I've seen him do it a lot for. Um, and several other things. I guess they're just, like, just trying to trick you. If he's not trying to give you a, a sight into the ground for some rude reason. Slowly making our way up in coins. I wonder if there's a blue coin switch in this game, because I don't think we've seen... No, well, actually, that's not true. We saw one in the first stage. Well, in that case, I wonder if there's one in this area. Where's that other blue red coin that I saw? Uh, ooh, there's five right there. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get that first. Oh, yeah, that's hidden. Like, all the coins here are really hidden. There's nothing really in the out in the open, you know? So that could prove to be a problem. Let's go back underground. Where was that other red coin? Is it over there? No. Huh. Oh, there's something way down there. Oh, you know what? This also gives you a way to look through that maze that looks like down there. Huh. So that's another thing. At least we know where that star is. I'm pretty sure I've already killed you. Which is a bad way. Kind of a rude way to say it. I killed you already. Oh no, apparently I didn't. 70 coins now. And I'm pretty sure all these doors are fake, so there's no reason in trying. Uh, is there any place I can... Oh! Okay, well that was dangerous. Uh, I wonder if there's any way I can get on top of these houses. What? What did I just pick up right there? Just a coin? Okay, and there's just a little tiny spot on that texture that was different, so it was like, what? I can kind of go up through the... No. Huh. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of... It's at least this level's way more open. You can wall jump up these. There we go. Except it's still slippery. Okay. But uh, this level's a bit more open, so I right off the bat, I like it a bit more. But, uh, not sure... Whoa. Hello there, and a red coin. Alright, well, this is apparently an area I have not explored much. Seems like it. But yeah, I'm liking this stage already a bit more than the others. Also, I just realized I have to end off the episode soon. I forgot this is the second half to one up for, to another part. So uh, this might go over 20 minutes. In that case, my bad. But uh, sometimes things have to be things, you know? Ooh, water walker thing. So that gives us 95 coins and only five red coins. That sucks. No way to get there. The grass mounds up there. Oh, hey there. How many times can I say there? Huh. This has got to be a path to, like, a star or something. That was walkable. 
Uh, seems like it, but I'm gonna go with it. Just to see what there is. Uh, I guess I'll stay in one-up cam. I messed up. I sure did. Okay, hopefully there's not a red coin up there. I know there's still the one on the mountain, and just in case there's any yellow coins, I guess I'll go ahead and go for it. Well, there are the water walker. But, oh, that's where that cave starts. That's where we get another star. I might end this episode just after we get the 100 coins. Because, not sure if I want to have like a 25 minute episode going on here. Please. Please. Alright! Well, I guess that was actually pointless because... There is a blue coin switch right there. Of course there is! Okay, and there's also that. There it is! 100 coin- that is really high up in the air. I have made a mistake. Okay, that's low jump. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it off there, even though we're not out of the level. Have a save cake instead, the cake is a lie. Sace! Yes or ice? I'll say yes. But uh, that'll do it for this episode. Whoa! That'll do it for this episode. See you all in the next episode when we get those red coins. See you all then, and goodbye.